In this video, I will talk about Fermat's Law Theorem, which is quite different than Fermat's Little Theorem. We should be very familiar with Fermat's Little Theorem by now, which states if p is a prime, then a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. However, Fermat's last theorem says there are no positive integer solutions to the equation x to the n plus y to the n equals to z to the n if n is greater than or equal to 3. First of all, what about x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared? Well, this equation has lots of solutions, right? Because it is the fundamental formula for the Pythagorean triangles. 3, 4, 5 is just an example of the solutions. So let's get into Fermat's last theorem. Large percents of Fermat's last theorem was not proved by Fermat. There have been so many contributions by mathematicians throughout the years. Fermat himself proved x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is equal to z to the fourth does not have a positive integer solution. And that's the proof we will focus on today. Gauss and Wohler proved the same thing for x cubed plus y cubed equals to z cubed. The first general proof was done by Sophie Germain. She proved that a to the p plus b to the p equals to c to the p has no solutions in integers if p does not divide the product of a, b, c. It's interesting that Fermat's last theorem was scribbled in the margin of one of his books. However, we can find Fermat's proof for the particular exponent n equals to 4 in one of his books. He proved the stronger statement that saying x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equals to z square does not have any positive integer solutions. The general idea here is to suppose that there is a solution, x, y, z, in positive integers to the equation, and we use this supposed solution to produce a new solution capitalized x, y, z in positive integers with capitalized z smaller than little c. Repeating this process, we would end up with a never-ending list of solutions x, y, x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, z3, and so on, with z1 is greater than z2 and greater than z3, and so on. This list is going to an end because a decreasing list of positive integers cannot continue forever. A contradiction exists, therefore the equation will not have integer solutions. Now how do we go from little xyz to capitalized xyz? Let a equals to x square, b equals to y square, c equals to z. Then, a, b, c is a primitive Pythagorean triple, namely a square plus b square is equal to c square. Because we know how to form a Pythagorean triple, we know there exists odd integers s and t such that x squared is equal to a equal to st, y squared is equal to b, and is equal to s squared minus t squared over 2. z is equal to c is equal to s squared plus t squared over 2. Since s and t are odd, s times t is odd too, and it's equal to a square, we must have s t is congruent to 1 mod 4. Then, s is congruent to t mod 4, because s and t are either both congruent to 1 mod 4 or congruent to 3 mod 4. Next, 
2y squared is equal to s squared minus t squared, and that's equal to s plus t multiplied by s minus t. Since s and t are both odd, s plus t and s minus t are both even. s minus t is divisible by 3 oh, by 4 since s is congruent to t mod 4. So s plus t must be twice an odd number. The only way this could happen is if we have s plus t is equal to 2u squared and s minus t is equal to 4v squared for some relatively prime integers u and 2v. We solve for s and t in terms of u and v. s is equal to u squared plus 2v squared, and t is equal to u squared minus 2v squared. If we substitute these into the formula x squared is equal to st, we get x squared is actually equal to u to the fourth minus 4 times v to the fourth. If you put 4 times v to the 4th on the left hand side, we get x squared plus 4v to the 4th is equal to u to the 4th. Unfortunately, this isn't quite the equation we are looking for, so we repeat the process. If we let capitalized A equals to x, capitalized B equals to 2v squared, and capitalized C equals to u squared, then capitalized A square is equal to capitalized B square. Oh, sorry. Then capitalized A square plus capitalized B square is equal to capitalized C square. So capitalized ABC is a primitive Pythagorean triple. Again, referring to chapter 2, we can find odd relatively prime numbers. Um, let's call them capitalized S and T, B, which is equal to capitalized S squared minus capitalized T squared over 2. And finally, little u squared is equal to capitalized C, and that we set it equal to capitalized S squared plus capitalized T squared over 2. The middle formula says that 4 times v square is equal to capitalized s square minus capitalized t square, which we can factor that into s minus t times s plus t. Now, s and t are odd and relatively prime, so the greatest common divisor of s minus t and s plus t is 2. Furthermore, their product is a square, so it must be true that s plus t is equal to 2x squared and s minus t is equal to 2y squared, where s and x and y are some integers. Solving for s and t in terms of x and y gives capitalized s is equal to x squared plus y squared and capitalized t is equal to capitalized x squared minus y squared. And then substituting these into the formula for u squared, it gives us u squared is equal to capitalized s squared plus capitalized t squared over 2 which if you substitute those formulas for capitalized S and T, you get that U squared is actually equal to capitalized X to the fourth plus Y to the fourth. So we have a new solution, capitalized X, capitalized Y, and little u to our original equation, X to the fourth plus Y to the fourth is equal to Z squared. It only remains to verify that the new solution is smaller than the original one. Using various formulas from above, we find that z is equal to s squared plus t squared over 2, and plug in those formulas, we get z is actually equal to u to the fourth 
plus four times v to the fourth. Since all of them are positive integers, we conclude that u is smaller than z. The entire proof was based on the method of descent, and we are concluding that there are no positive solutions to the original function.